Hey guys, it's Deborah. I wanted to just talk to you guys about a couple things, um, really important things that are happening today, the next few couple of weeks, and um, even um, next month as well. So um, just really huge things. So Israel's new unity government is delayed by dispute over cabinet posts. So we know Netanyahu is supposed to um, be the prime minister for the first 18 months and then switch with Benny Gantz after 18 months. Um, <clears throat> so this is big for a particular reason. Um, the fact that there is going to be a government at all and also the fact that it is delayed and I will explain why. Um, and like I said, I have a few other things to touch on, just big things. But first, let me read a little bit of this article. So it says, the swearing in of Israel's new unity government has been postponed until Sunday. That's this Sunday because of a dispute. That's tomorrow, the 17th, over the allocation of ministries. Benny Gantz's blue and white party has given Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu more time to divide up cabinet posts among members of his Likud party. The rivals agreed a power sharing deal in April that ended a year of deadlock, which th with sorry, three elections were held. Mr. Gantz will serve as deputy prime minister for 18 months before succeeding um, Mr. Netanyahu. <clears throat> um, so, okay, there's two parts of this that's kind of big. The 18 months, but what's even bigger is um, the fact that it's this Sunday um, that they're going to agree on this government. But let me just read a little bit more of the article. So it says, Mr. Gantz will serve as deputy prime minister. Oh, I already did that. Sorry. <laughs> the two men have said the new government's priority will be tackling the e economic crisis resulting from the coronavirus pandemic. Mr. Netanyahu has said it will also press ahead with the controversial plan to annex part of the occupied West Bank as early as July 1st. The application of Israeli sovereignty over parts of the West Bank is in line with the with U.S. President Donald Trump's vision for peace. And they say peace and safety, <laughs> sudden destruction, between Israel and the Palestinians, which was unveiled in January. Okay, so the reason why this is huge, and many of you know this already, actually somebody put it in my comment section on my last video, but it's something that I already was planning on touching on. Um, so you may have already saw it there, or you probably already know, but the Kaduri and Shoshani prophecies, this is huge. So let me read this and I'll tie it in. So this is the, the prophecy of um, Rabbi Shoshani. There will come on that on the day that two ministers win the government, in the land of Israel, both their names will be Benjamin. So Benny Gantz, Benjamin Netanyahu, and neither of them will succeed in establishing their government or kingship. On that day, know and understand that the King Messiah already stands at the doorway. And on the Sabbath afterwards, he will come and be revealed. Shoshani's statement continues. Understand this and remember it. So basically... It's either that, so remember, it says there'll come a two days, a day when two ministers will, two ministers win the government, um, and then it says um, neither of them will succeed in their, establishing their kingship. So either we're talking about today's Sabbath because they agreed, they talked about it and agreed, but neither succeeded, or Sunday they, they actually, you know, sign it, and then the Sabbath afterwards, this Shoshani prophecy, because it says the government's not supposed to be established. It said it will, the gate will rise and fall only three times. So if it's established um, a fourth time, then, sorry, it says the government will not be established, sorry, but the gate will rise and fall three times, which is basically what happened. There was three elections. So if it's established this time, it doesn't make sense with the prophecy because the prophecy is saying it will, neither of them will establish their kingship. So if they do sign it on Sunday, then that, either changes things or means the Saturday after they're saying the Messiah will be revealed. Okay. Or it means that this is the Sabbath today and that Messiah, whether it be the Messiah they are waiting for or our Messiah or both will be revealed. It could be even today because they can't establish their kingships. I hope that makes sense. So neither of them can establish their kingship. If they sign the papers, to me, it's like they have established their kingship. So I don't know. I'm just like laying it out for you guys, but it says the Sabbath after that. So to me, it could be either today or next 
Saturday, that that would mean Messiah is revealed. And who is Messiah? And that's the thing is, was he talking about the Messiah that they are waiting for or the Messiah that we know as in Jesus Christ? So that's crazy. That's huge. And that will tie into something else that I want to touch on. Okay, so just to move on to something else, if you notice here, it says what needs to go right to get the CV in 12 to 18 months. Okay, so um, I just said that before, I just read that it said Netanyahu was going to serve for 18 months. Now, I find that very interesting that both this has a time frame of 18 months and him serving has a time frame of 18 months. I haven't yet figured out what that means. Are we going to, are, you know, is the tribulation going to be going on? And in that time, that's as much time it takes to come out with the mark or whatever, because he's going to hand the keys to Messiah. So I don't know. But another thing that I thought was interesting that I heard someone else say was if you look at the World Health Organization, the short form and the acronym for their name, um, there's a verse in the Bible that actually kind of ties into their name. This is kind of all over the place, a lot little different things here and there, but I'll also explain to you why today is big in addition to the Shoshani prophecy. But anyway, if you notice who, what did, what does it say here? In Revelation, it says, who is like unto the beast and who is able to make war with him? Now, I know that's not exactly, but I find that very interesting that it says, who is like unto the beast. That's just side note, but I heard somebody say it and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought that was crazy. But uh, let's move on to today. <laughs> so today is the International Day of Light. Okay, so like I was saying, the Shoshani prophecy mixed with what's going on with the government in Israel and all that, when you put it together, it means either to me today or next Saturday that it says Messiah is either at the door or going to be revealed. But look at when you put the acronym for International Day of Light. Like, that is just interesting. So, again, this is not something that's, you know, going to, you know, blow your mind necessarily. But these are things that I've just been hearing along the way that I wanted to share with you guys. But, yeah, today is the International Day of Light or an idol, <laughs> which is really weird. So, anyway, this is the big thing. So, as you know, today, many of you know... Um, B.O. is to deliver a virtual commencement uh, during primetime graduation special. Um, and so it's Graduate Together America honors the high school class of 2020 and it will air at 7 p.m. tonight. So basically on the International Day of Light, he will be talking to the whole graduating class of 2020. And many people have seen that this is very significant because it is just like the iPet Goat movie where he's wearing a graduation cap. Um, and right after that scene, basically, it's Bush Jr. turns into uh, former President B.O. Um, and he then... Has, he comes, he's revealed with a grad cap on. That's when he gets revealed in the movie. That's when he makes his first appearance in the movie. And I don't know what the heck this is supposed to mean, but mixed the, the fact that it's the International Day of Light, acronym IDOL, and that it's about, um, and sorry, and it's also related to the, the prophecy coming to pass that Messiah will be at the door or he will be revealed. Um, right when the two Benjamins won't establish their kingship, the Sabbath afterwards. So they didn't establish it um, yet. They haven't signed the paper. So I don't know how that really is going to play out or how to interpret it. But like I said, it could be today or it could be next Saturday. Um, but when you mix it with this movie and this is when, you know, he's wearing this cap and he's talking about graduation, Again, I don't know. I'm just letting you guys know all the different pieces that are coming together. And um, yeah, I, I guess just be on the alert and just, you know, be very close with the Lord at this time. Um, because I don't think anybody really knows what's about to happen. Um, it could just be another day. It could be another speech. Those two events might not match this movie, match, match with that. 
Um, but it is very strange. And the fact that it's on the International Day of Light. So, and it's, you know, it's the Sabbath, which is similar to the prophecy. So I guess just um, stay alert. And um, I have something else that is like really wow. I just have to find the time. I, I feel like if I have to get it out today. So it's with regards to, you know, um, well, you know what? I won't even go into it. It's just <laughs> stay tuned, please, because I'm going to try to get it out today. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going to happen today. The world is just in a state. So I hope that this, you know, helped you to uh, get up to date on some things that are happening. And I will definitely try to talk to you again today, if possible, to get out my other thing because it's time sensitive. So uh, I love you guys and I will talk to you again soon. God bless and shalom.